All right, this is a 55 uh, inch Star Destroyer. Just love the detail the way I came out on the bottom of this thing. Really worked hard to make a just extra, like, like those extra blockinesses down there and stuff. One of the lights, you got to stick through that hanger when you do it. And uh, anyway, so there's pictures of the bottom. So I click that. That goes nice. There's a string of lights that run up through the middle of it. You open this up. It's got a big, huge ah, beam on it. Whatever. And the thrusters light up blue. I had to rewire some different lights for that part. But the whole thing comes apart for shipping. These two parts will fold together like that. And this comes off and folds and clips into there and there's seams here and this top plate goes on there and slides on so it all compacts up into a little 35 inch box by 10 inches just love the way the detail came out on this mini hanger it's really hard like i don't get full detail on the the radar so sonar balls or whatever the hell they're supposed to be they're like i believe they're supposed to be radar dishes same as uh uh, aircraft carrier but anyways there you go I just love the way the the black rub came on it so it's all together and it's all nice and solid once you have it all together but the idea with this is to make the the lights just aren't showing up it's not dark enough as soon as you put it in the dark it, it'll light up more so places where when it was all white it just fully lit up and so that's what I sort of got going on with this ghost ship this switch over here oh. Still working on it, and so it'll make the windows light up everywhere. And I'm just doing the balconies and the floors and stuff inside there. So there's, when this opens up, it makes a nice little balcony there for that back room. You can't even see the detail on this plate. <laughs> Put these nice chromed uh, rivet edges on them. So where's that chair? The chair fell over here. The chair goes here. And I got them all paint it up it's dark i'm trying to do dark light things and the y-wing is under here i was working actually on your y-wing today but i keep making bad videos where it should just stay to topic and there's another switch over here to make the mini small little ones in the front of it light up this is going to be a real wicked ghost so yeah these go in here and i wanted to do that while i had a chance uh, see see how that's yellow there? And see how this blue light makes everything. Because I'm gonna put this blue light in the back under this motor part here. So I'm saying that. Uh, and so it'll make all those fluorescent hoses light up like uh, it's almost like a neon light. But I was gonna put that light under here, see how it lights up all the parts for the motor back there. Isn't that cool? So that's what I'm doing with the ghost. This plate is for your uh your phantom right so it's made so it can go up here and then when it retracts there's little clips there so this whole thing will just clip right in there nice and solidly like that and that ain't going nowhere and that's the idea because this plate up here now will hold the top of your phantom and there's the, for the bottom of your phantom so and you see how that blue under there just gives all that mm, nice purple like i just love it Oh yeah, there's the green for the front of the cockpit and, it and stuff that lights that up still. So that makes that ghost pretty nice. I guess I should have called this the ghost video. <laughs> yeah, I just love the way the guns are starting to paint all the parts for it, right? So I got, can't even see it maybe out here, a bit more light. So it's been painted all black, but then it's got the dry brush silvers all on the edges of it. And it just looks wicked. And this guy wanted handles in his... Guy's name is Nicholas. Nicholas. Because when you're dealing with 16 people and some people got the same name, every second barge order is a guy named Chris. <laughs> anyway, so uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, Eugene's 55-inch uh, Star Destroyer is ready, and these are ones I was going to have on special for 500 bucks and 100 bucks for the shipping, so 600 bucks gets it all. And it's, yes, I keep forgetting about these hangers. See right on the corner here, there's nice solid hangers here so you can tie it up. 
And there's one in the front here. It's sort of hidden a little bit under the... Oh, so, okay. I'm going to show you what I'm doing. But there's one underneath there, so you can hang the front of it, and you can hang it from your ceiling type thing. This thing would just look wicked. See, it's all solid, so I should be able to cut one hand here to pick it up. Oh, I just got to find the right balance point. There we go. So you can see how it looks. And so you can see that it's all solid and all holds together. It's all done and all wicked. Let's take it outside for a little drive through the sky for our May the 4th be with you. That'd be a really good picture, eh? Okay, thanks, guys. I can't hold this up for much longer. Ah!